It's a Monday morning and I went uh, shopping yesterday. I went sourcing and I bought a, a lot of stuff in one place. So I'm going to share it with you now and we're going to zip through it pretty quickly. And let's see, we're going to start with, I'm going to start with these because I've already listed these and bagged them, but brought them back up so I can remember. Uh, this is a pair of Torrid denim boyfriend shorts, size 22, mm, quite distressed by design, of course. Um, I listed these last night. I've gotten several likes on them. Very helpful for these. I priced them at 20. Did I price them at 20? I think I priced them at 20. Obviously open to offers. They're not a high ticket item. Um, I was disappointed in shoes. I normally come back with a lot of shoes from this particular place, and this time I did not. I have three pair. These are Toms. Um, I probably shouldn't have bought them. I have two pair of Toms just sitting there. They do get likes. They're size 11, though. These are size 10, and I liked the fabric. They're in pretty good shape. Um, and like I said, there wasn't a lot in the way of shoes, so I did, I did want to add some because I don't have any in my death pile. Uh, these are Crocs, wedge sandal, size six, really nice and light. I think I found these, so actually, yeah, I think I found these still available for retail, which is the case with these boots as well. These are Franco Sardo, which is not like an amazing brand for resale, but it's like a really nice leather. I thought this was very interesting. I did find it when I uh, did a Google and search yesterday, but I couldn't find it this morning. I didn't spend a lot of time. Uh, these may still be available for retail as well. Um, very clean. Ow! Arr, attack of the Franco Sardo boot. Um, and these are really for size 11 as well. Or not as well. The others weren't in 11. They're the Amy Boots, size 11 medium. They just feel really good. And this, um, I did see this very similar style in some nice name brands. So hopefully that's uh, a good thing. I'm going to probably list those at 50. Take offers. If I can get 35, I will be satisfied. This is the Quacker Factory. I think that's QVC or each at home shopping. I'm not sure. Um, I see it. I've never bought it before, but these two pieces I thought were really interesting. They have a following. I, I don't think I buy anything really plain, but this is a, it's almost like a pull. It's that, that like polo shirt fabric, polo shirt style. Um, it's got cherries all over it and it's a dress. It's a pretty long dress. Is it a maxi dress? Uh, it's just, just hits. Yeah, it's pretty much a maxi dress. Interesting. I'm going to have to look and see if I can find this particular dress anywhere. I would imagine that the Quacker, fa Quacker Factory doesn't command huge prices, but I'm okay with that. Um, this is also Quacker Factory, and it is a pair of jeans with can you see? Snowmen all over it. In perfect condition, this is a size 18W. Oh, that dress was a uh, large. Um, so no rush to list these, though I would like to get that dress listed sooner rather than later. First cup of tea of the day. Start working a little bit. bit and I just thought I'd go ahead and take care of this. And, you know, it is going to be, it's going, you're going to be watching this. Well, I don't know when you're going to be watching this, but I'm going to post this earlier than my weekly video because I have so much stuff that I know I'm going to have a second need two videos. Um, and even my normal Saturday one will encompass more than one place because uh, I'm planning another shot. It's just a big sourcing week for some reason. Okay, this is Swim 365. It is a tankini top. Um, it's, it's okay to just sell the top. Um, I guess I'm not the only one. I sort of collect bottoms and tops and interchange them. So I always have something. Uh, okay. It's just this nice floral and it seemed like excellent condition. Just like if you look at the tag, it doesn't look like it was even worn. 
and it's a size 18W. So the plus size category or department of my closet is really growing. Uh, this is a True Religion hoodie. There was a True Religion hoodie and a True Religion pair of pants. And I grabbed the hoodie out of a, you know, of a new pile of stuff that came out. And then I went to grab the pants and somebody else grabbed the pants at the same time. And I just said, go ahead, take them. Um, this is really nice. The only thing wrong with it is the thread is coming out here. I'm thinking I might try to like cut it and stitch it back through. So at least it's a, it's a little better. It's, it's not like, it doesn't affect the integrity of the hoodie. Um, it's decorative stitching, but so I waffled on that because of it, but my friend said, oh, you should definitely take that. And I definitely took that. Um, let's see. Okay. This, don't know the brand. It's uh, made in Mexico. The brand is iGooey. iGooey. Um, this is new with tag. It's kind of like the whole, well, I like the tag. I won't lie that the tag was part of the reason why I bought it. That sugar skull. But it's one of those, you know, art to wear t-shirts. It has this giant, what is that? Do you know what that is? It's some sort of bird, but I feel like it's not a real bird. It's some sort of symbol bird or mythical bird. Um, just really nice, long t-shirt size, 2XL. 2XL, yeah. So I will be surprised if I can find any sort of comps on this, but I'm not one of those people who, we're like, oh, I can't find comps. What do I do? Like, I'll pick a price. I probably would put that up at 25. It's unique enough, and you know, everything comes down to offers anyway. So you've got a you've got a list high. Uh, this is Bob Mackie wearable art. Something that I will not pick up willy nilly. Um, I thought it was vintage because of the this, but I'm not sure how long he's been using the label wearable art, so maybe not. Um, but anyway, I, I thought it was really quite lovely. Look at that. And it's a size XL, and the shell is 100% silk. Lining 100% polyester, embroidery 100% rayon. So, in, like I looked it over, there does not appear to be a spot on it. Okay. I don't know. This t-shirt, I don't know. It's pink, it's long sleeves. In the back, it's got this POW, you're not forgotten. And the sleeves say, it's just a Hanes t-shirt. And the sleeves say, show me the sleeves, uh, Legion Rider. So, I, you know, I'm thinking it's a motorcycle rider based, but it's pink. I don't know. Anyway, it's a Hanes Beefy T extra large. I am drawn to things that seem different. So this, I might, I don't know what to list. I don't know if I'll list that at like 20 or I'll list it at 18. Um, I'll be happy to get 15 for it. Um, maybe less, but I don't know. I haven't, you know, maybe I can find something about it online. I've done no research on this. We got it home yesterday. I, I, all I had time was to Put it in my spreadsheet. I have, you know, I don't really do comps and, you know, look that stuff up until I'm ready to start listing. This is a Volcom hoodie. It's a uh, off white. It's not even a cream color. Winter white. I don't know. Um, I was I was conflicted because dealing with the color, but it seemed very clean. There's one tiny little spot here that I could probably get out. If not, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, but I decided to get it because it's pretty much Sherpa lined. Feels really good. It is a size, I want to say it's a size small. It says S and then under that it says P and then under that it says 10. Do you know what that means? I'm going with small and then I'm going to obviously put measurements. I'll try it on. See if it fits like a small. It looks like it fits like a small. But I don't know. This dress... I didn't, I had spotty cell phone service and I, I have gotten to the point where I don't look everything up. 
sometimes I just like it enough to want to buy it. And this is it, one of those Moda International. I did look up some when I got home, size 14, uh, just the name to see if it shows up. And it did. And the, I, I don't think I even looked at the solds. I looked at the people prices people were asking, and it, they weren't asking like $10. So it's just a really pretty dress, size 14, which is a good size. It'll be great for the summer. Look how pretty that is. So it's, uh, 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 the top is stretchy, so a t-shirt material, but the skirt is not. I don't think that, was there a fabric tag in this? No, there was no fabric tag, so I don't know. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice this when I had purchased it, but the, where is it? There's buttons somewhere. Where are the buttons? Oh yeah, there's buttons down the center of just the skirt part. A little different. Very pretty. I'd wear that as a summer dress if it was my size and I wore dresses and dressed it all. Um, this is, I don't know this brand, Jax. J-A-C-H-S. In fact, on the label, because it is newer with tag, it's J. Period A, period C, blah, blah, blah. The original Jack's Manufacturing Company, size large. Um, I bought it because it's new with tag, because it's a red and black buffalo plaid, and it's a, a nice, like, heavier weight, not super heavy, but heavier weight um, flannel. So it would work like a, sh like a shacket. In fact, I, I think that would be the best way to wear it. Unless it's really cold, because it is slightly heavier than the normal um, shirt type, and you would get warm. I would get warm, depending. Okay, I did buy I did buy actually four kids things. Um, they're not all in the same place, and I I I avoid the kids aisles now at the good at the regular thrift stores for the most part because I don't do really well with kids. I do want to keep some kids stuff, but I just don't feel like I need to do a lot of them, so. But here, you know, if you come across them, you come across them. Um, look at this. It is like a brand new onesie. There's no way a, a kid wore this onesie. And it looks like this, like spotless with giraffes all over it. Giraffes. All the kids stuff that I got today, yesterday, has something all over it that made me buy it. Okay, so there's this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know how I can list, like, one onesie. Like, how do you do that? What do you charge? That kind of thing I feel like needs to be in bundles. I don't know. Okay, brief pause there to get the next package. I just wanted to show you this. This is the rest of it. So this thing is, like, two cubes. It's long, and it has a separator, and it's two cubes. And I actually purchased it because I thought it was kind of cool. I can keep some inventory in it, and I was able to put all this stuff in it. To put in my car. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Uh, this is a Mountain Warehouse wetsuit. Uh, I have seen wetsuits in the store before, in the thrift store, and they charged a fortune for them. And this one they did not. It's in perfect condition. It looks completely unused. It is a size um, 1214. So it's a kid's, it's a kid's size. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to put up this up for. It might, maybe around 30. I, I have to look. I, I did I did a quick look when I was at the store and the, the prices for wetsuits were all over the place from like 10 to 100 kind of thing. So who knows? Um, this is Lane Bryant size 16. Just a really good pair of khaki green shorts. Elasticy waist. They're actually, I don't know if they'd be Bermudas or, nah, I'm not even sure they're shorts. They, they hit me below the knee, but of course they're a size, you know, 16. So that affects the length as well. Um, so I don't know if I'd call them Bermudas. I think I'm going to call them Bermudas because they're a little too short to be capris and I don't, by capris, generally speaking. 
so I don't want to call them capris. So there's that. This is American Eagle. I don't know my I I, I don't know my American Eagle um, labels, but I suspect this is old. But I just thought it was so cute. It's like a you know pea jacket style, double breasted, soft, lightly quilted. So it's got quilting in there, batting, whatever. What size? Size large. But I don't know what kind of large, because this doesn't look like a people's large. Like, I feel like, well, I don't know. I feel like it would fit me. Loosely, but fit me. That's maybe a kid's large? I don't know. What do you think? Nike, three-quarter zip pullover. It's got that ribbed look. And it's got black piping. Um, very unlike uh, most of the Nike stuff that I find, because it's not really exercise gear. It's everyday gear. Oh, look, I got a bra. Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret has been very, very good to me. So I will buy Victoria's Secret if I can find the right price, because it sells, and it sells for a decent amount. With the bras, I think the larger sizes are best. This is a 36C, I think, which is not very large, but I thought it was interesting. It's like a combination bra, sports bra. It, it, you pull it over your head. It's got the soft stuff here. It's like legging material. So I thought that was kind of neat. If I, if I found, had something like this in my size, I would wear that because I'm a, I'm a fan of, I'm a sports bra person. They're my favorite kind. Okay, this is, the brand is Snow, Disney Snow White. And it says, still the fairest. And it's got these things on the shoulders. Very cute. Needs a tiny bit of a sweater shave. Just got some stuff stuck to it, but... Otherwise, looked perfect. I might sneeze. No, maybe not. Okay, this is Pink by Victoria's Secret. For the right price, as I said, I'd pick it up. And I just thought it was a nice, bold sweatshirt. It's an orangey, but like a heathered orange. And V-neck. That's what it's like on the inside. Just plain on the back. I think this should sell pretty quickly for, I don't know, maybe I'll list it at 20. Okay, this is a raincoat for kids. The brand is Hatley. Never heard of it. But look, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs all over it. Is that cute? The outside is in perfect shape. The inside is like, um, hang on. He snaps in the neck. It's like a it's like a robe material, not 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 sort of terry a blank you know towel material, and a couple of spots. I'll throw it in the washer; should be fine. Is it machine washable? I'm sure it's machine washable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So couldn't resist. Too cute to resist. This is Roxy. I just bought it because I thought it was really cute. It's a hoodie, but it's a sweater hoodie. And it has the kangaroo pocket. And got like interesting stitch stitching differences. See, like the front has two different kinds of this is like a plainer stitching. Alright, so we're getting there. Pack and pack, not not a normal brand to pick up but I thought this was it was a size 16 it's a denim jet black denim jacket just really nice zipper detail here two little studs here yeah I thought this was worth trying despite the brand peck and peck all right moving on I bought two military jackets. I have one just sitting, so you'd think I wouldn't, but 
I decided to get them anyway because now I have three that are all different sizes and I won't buy any more unless these sell. This one is a large and they're, they're also, uh, the, this one which is a extra large long coat army combat uniform. I wonder if that's in the one I listed if I used those words. Um, but that one has this same kind of, like, it's, it's cami, but it, like, reminds me of, like, pixelated cami. It's like a Tetris game character's military jacket. And this is the, the way the other one is. Whereas this one, to me, is a more traditional, not cami, camo, not a camisole. Uh, does this one also say what it is? Army Combat Uniform Unisex. Huh. Contract number, fiber content, contractor name, Goodwill Industries. So, I don't understand. What does Goodwill do for them? Is Goodwill involved in making these? I mean, you wouldn't put that, like, well, we're donating this to Goodwill, we're going to put a tag with Goodwill's name on it. That doesn't make any sense. Huh. I wonder if the other ones have that. Anybody have any idea what the story is with that? Please share if you do. Uh, just so I don't forget, if you if you enjoy watching, if you like to shop vicariously, if you like reseller content, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I have videos. Um, I don't do much more than what's sold and and hauls, but you never know what what might be in the future. And you know, at some point, my videos may get fancier, but I'm not too concerned with that. I'm more concerned with my reselling business than with making my videos fancy because I'm not making money off videos. Anyway, Nike Dry Fit. Would you call this base layer? I hear that term a lot and I'm not sure what constitutes base layer. I'm going to use it. It's a, you know, three-quarter zip. It's really nice. It's got this heathered fabric here. And then in the back, it's got this panel that has like it's got it's got striping in the fabric in the weave as opposed to like colored so i thought that was uh, a little different and in perfect condition uh, getting to the bottom great this is a christian odege men's plaid shirt i love plaid um it's got pearls pearl snap buttons and it's got that like Western look of the pockets and the yoke in the back, sort of yoke in the front. So I thought that was kind of nice. I don't think I'll get a ton for it, but uh, what size is it? You may ask. And you may ask yourself, what size is this shirt? And you may ask yourself, I'm going to stop now. Large. It's a large. Large Marge. Okay, and the last two, well, there was there was no way I was not going to bring these home, if you know me. It's got cat. They both have cats on it. Look at this. Look at this. How cute is this? It is an H&M kid size. U.S. is six to eight years. So I'm thinking these two are similar sizes, and I'm going to batch them together. If you know kids' clothes, let me know what you think. This one says six to eight years. It doesn't say size six. It says six to eight years. Anyway, really cute. Also does not look worn. Or somebody has like the neatest kids in the whole world. Exposed zipper. And then this one is a size six slash six X. Carter's kids. So would these be about the same size? I held them up, the shoulders up together. Hello. Um, at the store, and they seem to be really close, but I will do some measurements. So this cat dress, oh my god, look at this. Look at these cats. It's kittens. Kittens. Tabby kittens. <laughs> With a hood. I would buy this for myself. There's no way I'm fitting into this. Anyway, uh, I have to look into these, but I, I feel like if these are the same size or very, very similar size, I'd like to batch them to sell them. And so that is everything. Um, tell me what you think. Leave a comment. If you have, have a channel, share it with me. Let's uh, let's uh, add subscribers for each other. And and that is it. I will 
be back later in the week with another haul. And I, I think it'll be a, a decent sized haul as well, just based on my shopping plans for the week. Ah, more shopping. All right. I hope everybody's having a great week. Over and out.